Okay, so this is a follow-up video from my previous upload with regards to the voltage issue, issues in inverted commas, on the Crosshair 6 Hero board and the Ryzen 1800X. Um, now, um, whilst it's all well and good, you've been able to turn down your voltage using offset, um, I'd just like to point something out to those of you that do get a little bit panicky about it. Um, you can probably notice on screen I've got the voltage um, listed up here and you can actually see that when I started recording it started to level out a bit more reasonable at 1.28, 1.26. Um, that I believe is somewhere within normal limits for the CPU. Um, the occasional spike up to 4 but that's probably as likely as anything due to the fact that the CPU is actually um, running in turbo mode and actually turning up one core at a time to get the increased speed. Um, so what I'll do now is run Cinebench and what you'll probably notice is that for the most part the well one, the score will probably be lower than what it actually should be uh, because obviously it's rendering while well recording this video but what you'll probably notice is the voltage now um, stabilizes because of the fact that the CPU is under actual usage it's not just sat there waiting for something to happen and sort of flicking between P states, whether it's in turbo or whether it's sort of idle and in its waiting state to save power. Um, but now that it's actually been used consistently, you can see that the uh, voltage graph over on the right here is showing 1.264 pretty consistently, and it doesn't seem to be wavering much at all. And as I said, I believe this is because the CPU has actually been utilised. So all the reports that people have been having of um, strangely high voltages um, within the BIOS I suspect are purely down to the fact that the CPU is in its sort of waiting state, it's flicking between voltages rather rapidly um, because the fact it's not in use, it's just sort of sat there waiting to be used so that sort of indicates that the uh, temperature and the uh, voltage is all sort of within limits uh, bearing in mind also the temperature is offset by 20 degrees Celsius with the Ryzen CPU um, because of the simple fact that um, apparently the idea behind it is so that when it does turn up to the um, 4.1 gigahertz speed, which it probably isn't right now because it's doing more than just this um, city bench, so when it does turbo up, it needs the cooling to already be there so because the temperature does spike quite rapidly. Um, so as a result, having the cooling slightly offset to the high side is always a benefit. And as you can probably see from uh, my temperatures here, um, in this present system, I'm sort of looking at around about 70 degrees under sort of peak load, um, which is, as I said, it's offset by 20 degrees Celsius, so it's actually 50. So hopefully, all being well, this system seems to be quite stable. And as you can see, the voltages, when it's actually working, are somewhat near what I would consider normal for. Um, uh, modern desktop system. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully um, this is the last of this and I have nothing to worry about and nor does anyone else with a Ryzen CPU and a crosshair motherboard. So um, if you do want to undervolt it to make it run more efficiently and use less power, produce less heat, then happy days. But I suspect that uh, everything that's um, set by default is uh, within normal limits. It's just that uh, the turbo seems to kick in and it looks strange when it's in the BIOS. I dare say that in the future this is going to get resolved with uh, BIOS updates still um, so that it operates at a more loaded um, configuration so it looks like it's running at the voltage it is which would be 1.2 in this case 8.6 um, so hopefully they'll sort of lightly load all 8 cores or 6 cores or whichever SKU of the CPU you get and it will then show the voltage that's utilised at that point rather than the sort of peak voltage that's when a single core is heavily loaded um, which would then d display 1.48, 1.5 um, volts which obviously is uh, rather uh, incorrect or certainly rather, rather worrying whilst you're trying to do overclocking or whilst you're trying to tweak your board but I don't think it's anything to worry about and um, if you have this set, similar setup to me with a Crosshair um, 6 board, um, install AI Suite as I've done and 
do this test yourself. Um, find something that you can get the computer to run with and bring up the graph in AI suite under the voltages at the bottom of the screen and um, just monitor it whilst it's doing actual work rather than just the momentary display that it gives you um, telling you roughly what it's trying to do. Okay, again, thank you for watching and uh, hope to find it useful.